welcome to the podcast with Face, Pat, and Tiz. That nigga whack 100 too old for some of this shit he doing. For all this shit he oh, doing. Like, oh, like, man. Man, stick, 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 stick to just being a manager, my nigga. Like, all that gangster shit. Once you get grandkids, my nigga, god damn. Like, I, age old story, man. I tell everybody the most gangster nigga I know, the nigga named Preen. Nigga named Preen. I got a call one morning. The most gangster nigga I know, somebody was more gangster than his ass. They had shot his ass up. And set his ass on fire. Well, and that's free. So, yeah, it, it should be a cutoff. It's, it's an age limit with this gangster, them shit. It's a, it's a young man's game. Dude. I feel like, I, I feel like there's some way, some type of trauma or something that's like keeping certain people in certain aspects of life mentality still in the age of 20 or in the 20 or something. Or, Man, or I, 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 I'm not even going to get a, a nigga a benefit of that doubt and say it's some type of drama. I'm going to say the nigga just enjoy that type of shit. Some niggas yeah, in life, and we, know, and, and we know a few of them who are just stuck in that element and don't want to change, don't want to go nowhere. They enjoy doing that shit. They enjoy bringing other niggas into that shit. They enjoy getting in, in the bullshit, you feel me? And start shit. It's niggas who just love doing that shit and that they wake up, you know what? I'm going to go start some shit today. Mm-hmm. Yeah, There's some major chaos but, but, out but, there. But when you're 50, oh, when you're 50, God mm-hmm. damn. All right, so it's a, it's a couple of different things to, to tackle with this, but I guess we can tackle the 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 nuances before we actually tackle the actual shit that he doing. All right, so we're whack. He reminds me of a dude that we came across before in our personal life. Y'all might remember this nigga named Rich. Who? Uh, I, I, I figured you was gonna bring that. Yeah. This might have been what name you just say? I love ODU, but his name was Rich. The app, the opposite of poor. Yeah. Oh, that nigga. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, do a chase with a knife. That nigga. All right. Excuse me, allegedly. Um, so if you remember him, Wack got a lot of them same characteristics. He's a regular dude that then got affiliated with some gangster stuff. And he's using that as his cover. But I want to ask y'all a question. Do y'all think it's his cover of I roll with the power rules, so I got the backing of, you know what I'm saying, the blood, so I can do this shit and ain't nothing really gonna happen? Cause I, I feel like he would have got violated for some of the stuff he's doing just because it's a lot of blood that ain't with some of the stuff he's doing. Or yeah. do y'all think it's something to what Hassan said on a uh, Math Hopper show that nigga might be the feds? Like I'm I'm becoming a he might be. this day of like internet and hip hop police and all that like man, it's, it's <laughs> that should exist. That should real exist. Some of these plants and some of these people are put here to get people to do stupid shit. Like people that they couldn't get no other way. So they like, well, let me put these people here. Cause it's a reason, like the way the world works, right? Oh. Almost everybody. Unless there's a conspiracy to keep that person alive. Almost everybody who says and does dumb shit either gets their ass whooped, gets knocked the fuck out, gets shot, gets shot at, something. So whenever I see a dude, especially in hip hop these days, that's able to say whatever he want, and it ain't no repercussions from it. I call feds. I call that a bunch of them street dudes is looking at him like, okay, we do something to him. It's a guaranteed we going down. It's like Takashi. Uh-huh. <clears throat> it's a re- like birds of a fucking feather. Like, I don't know if people read plans with him, but like anybody that's on an uh, app all day and just talk 
and when I say talk, I ain't talking about like talk about like current events and you know just yeah, you know just running your just running, running your fucking mouth like running your mouth business. Like only we talk street biz that month, <laughs> and nothing street has been addressed to you. That tells me you may not be with the street. You may be with something yeah, look, bigger than the street. Yeah, because that breaks rules of the streets. So not to say I'm the biggest street nigga in the world to know all the rules that that the greatest street nigga alive wrote down in his manual somewhere that all street niggas I'll abide by. That. I'm street enough to know that Pau Rules <laughs> with Nipsey too. So they ain't mm-hmm. what he did what that he said about Nipsey. I'm with the streets enough to know. That power rules, especially on the West Coast, got a system for dealing with niggas when they even even when you when you down with the set. They got a system for dealing with niggas when they get out of pocket and they start making the set look crazy. For nobody to have done it, and I don't wish nothing to happen to him. I want to get that straight right now. I don't wish nothing to happen to him, but. For something to not have even been attempted on him, mm-hmm. he ain't that gangster. So that tells me that he's something that, that gangsters fear, and gangsters don't fear much, but losing their freedom. It's not even. Okay. It's not even that he's not that gangster because gangsters ain't bulletproof either. Like yeah, but when I say like that, I mean like well, no, nah, I get people what you who mean. have enough gangster. Or who are like, look, I said what I said enough, but they don't give a fuck like that. Like they'll do all this shit and they really just don't give a fuck. I don't uh-huh. see that him. Cause his 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 lingo switch up depending on if the people he's talking about is in the room or not. Cause he talked a lot of shit about Hassan on Clubhouse after they had that meetup with him and uh Takashi. But in that interview, he won't talking crazy like that. No, nah, he won't. Niggas was in he there. Had crazy as, he had crazy as body language. Huh? Crazy as body language, but he had crazy as body language, but verbally he wasn't he wasn't as aggressive. No, he wasn't. I mean, he won't, he won't like he was about to put, get physical. Don't, don't, don't do that after the fact. Like, Keep those same energy. If if you gonna be gangster like that, cool, be gangster. I ain't tripping on that. Be gangster. Be I, I, I I came back to a, to an old, old old story growing up. Somebody once told somebody else when they saw me, they was gonna slap the shit out of me. So when I saw this person, I asked them, "You you supposed to be slapping the shit out of me, ain't you?" Oh uh, no, no. Perfect example to keep that same energy. Okay. Don't say you're going to do something and then when the situation comes, you don't do that thing because at the end of the day, your energy got to match your mouth. If not, you, your energy going to get your mouth in a lot of trouble because that negative energy, you're going to be reciprocated. You remember like a lot of people out here got miles that run them, but not like this man because he's oh, running them off like on every, every, every type of platform. Every type of platform, big mouthing it up. I said, it's not you. What? I got the paperwork. I got the paperwork. Mm-hmm. Is it any paperwork on him, though? Is it paperwork on him, though? We got re- we got leaked recordings on him saying this and saying that and saying this and saying that, thanks to Hassan. Um, some of the recordings haven't been put, um, released. But Pat, you this man is... Point. I need to ask you a question real quick for this story. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Did Suge Knight snitch? I feel like I've heard him called a rat before, but I'm asking this: like, do you know of like the case or somewhere he's alleged to be have to have told somebody or something? Like, I've I've heard something like that, but I haven't heard of anything like documented like he snitched. Concrete, because he's yeah, yeah. Because for all I know, he's still like oh, a yeah. Man. When you hear about it, like right, most most stand up niggas don't get accused of snitching. Like most niggas that respect women don't get accused of rape. Most um 
most people who are not selling any type of drugs or doing any type of street shit don't get accused of these things. So when you get accused of these things, it may not be that you've actually done this specific thing, but some in your character makes people comfortable enough to attach that label to you. So when Suge Knight being the person that brought him in, I'm almost on some shit like, well, we kind of getting what we asked for because you you are who brought you in. You know what I'm saying? Like, if, if you own that, then that's kind of who you own. So if, if Suge Knight brought him in, then he kind of own Suge Knight's tab. Like, maybe Suge Knight had some issues too, and maybe that's why they was hanging together. Mm. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't see nothing. What I know a whack about this nigga was a truck driver, got down with Suge, and became like uh not security, but uh almost like a role manager. Yeah. For the artist for sure. And then he became like a actual manager from from what I can understand from the what I can piece together from the different little stories I've seen online about him. But yeah. if any of that has a semblance of truth, then I'm saying like you came in with a dude that had a sketchy character. So it don't surprise me that now you in the fuck shit because Suge used to be into a lot of that bullshit like that. Like trying to extort mm-hmm. niggas and all that shit, and mm-hmm. at some point that karma kept up, boy, because it caught up to Shug. He whack better chill out. That's a dumbass name anyway. Your name is whack. That says a lot about you all jump that you named yourself a uh, a word that means corny, lame, not mm-hmm. cool. But, yeah, that's why I never really took a lot of his gangster claims too seriously. Probably because of his name, I always thought he was a troll. Like, and that's why like him and Takashi seem like a perfect fit to me. You know what I'm Don't saying? Because he him. always seemed like a troll. Like I, I did, you know, done my research and said, you know, seen him hang around, you know, gangsters and all that other stuff. But when you're like in the industry and business, when you're around Suge Knight, that's gonna happen anyway. That's like a regular person who had a regular job at a grocery store all of a sudden get a, a deal at death row. Huh? <laughs> like that's 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 the same exact thing. Whatever. Just because you survived death row, probably just being the guy in the background, you automatically halt. Not saying, all right, I'm I'm talking about like the intern guy, like the guy that you he shouldn't even be in the gangster shit in the first place. He's just trying to get himself in the You talking about Jacob from account? Yes, that guy. That guy. I mean, he's talking about hey, the real actual hey, gangster. Hey, don't let me out the car. Hey, don't let me out the car. It's like the dude, the, 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 um, the guy that ran the errands or whatever, the coffee guy. You know what I'm saying? The guy that runs yeah, the facts. Come home, punch the air. Uh-huh. And then, like, 15 years later, after he's become a grown adult and whatnot, and, and made some good financial um, moves or whatever, has a home and everything in a platform, he can act like he he gangster. Uh, this is my thing. This, if he a manager, he just needs to play his part as a manager, man. Stay in the, stop getting in the limelight. Play your part, bro. You you trying to draw more attention to yourself than to your artist. Like I hear more of you, you bringing up bullshit and, and starting shit instead of bigging up your artists or or, or promoting your artists. Like, what what the fuck managing are you doing? Like, I, I I'm hearing your name in too much negative light. So, how much positive light can be drawn to your artists from 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 this shit? Like, as a o as a age wise OG, I don't know your gangster characteristics or your 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 criteria or your background. You feel me? Like I don't know your gangster resume. But as a age wise OG, you should be giving game to these young dudes coming up in your shadow, coming up in those footsteps that you walk so they won't make the same mistakes you made. So I'm leaving them down the same dumbass path. This little young rainbow head nigga you got you keep building this bullshit and this and he keep popping off starting shit. When he had the homies with him, the tray when he had them tradeway people with him, and he was popping shit and he had the backup, and then shit went awry and he shut up. 
Now he got a new crew in. He back popping shit again. When are people going to learn, man? Like, at the end of the day, even somebody who's under federal protection can be touched. Anybody, they touch presidents. Anybody can be touched. I don't want nothing to happen to nobody because every human life has some importance to somebody. But my thing is, whack, you should be giving real game to these young men that you got underneath you. Of your age, you should see them as grandkids, damn near, if not kids, that you spitting game to to lead them the right fucking way instead of like watching them make these dumbass fucking mistakes. Like, What's at that? a certain age, we have a responsibility, bro. At a certain age, real motherfuckers, we got a responsibility. When we see other motherfuckers doing the stupid shit we did, to at least speak up. we You ain't got to listen, but it's my job to keep speaking up. So hopefully it, it rings in your head so you won't make that motherfucking mistake because if I idly sit by and I aid you along with this shit and I'm helping you make these dumbass mistakes, how much smarter am I at my age? Not at all. This motherfucker ain't doing shit. But egg and bullshit along, egg and bullshit along, egg and bullshit along. Come on, bro. It's too much of this bullshit being. It's too much. God damn. He bringing the negativity back into hip hop. Well, speaking of negativity and OGs, he is uh ran across Jay Prince and uh over this Larry Hoover thing. And what I can say is when you're talking about two OG gangsters, the Larry Hoover family and the Jay Prince family, I I, I feel you whack on everything. I know you was talking shit about Jay Prince and about his sons getting robbed, but this is what I do know. People that done fuck with Jay Prince family have come up missing. Like, they not living no more. Mm-hmm. They ain't robbing nobody. They apply a different kind of pressure mm-hmm. down there in Texas. Folk get folk get shot at down there because everybody license to carry. So you don't know where to shot. Damn, from. right. <laughs> Damn. So I, I, I'll say this. I don't like that energy there because when you're talking about two huge factions from the Texas movement and the gangster disciples that will ride on that Hoover name, I I don't like that energy that like whack, leave that shit alone. Leave like if you're gonna do the trap, the troll with the young boys that ain't got that, but that type of shit there can go real left real fast because you're talking about a lot of different like you're talking about Pyrus, gds and you're talking about a bunch of people from texas all of which i don't feel will hesitate to shoot if necessary and i ain't mm-hmm. trying to see it go there so whack leave that leave that part alone go ahead get them leave they won't let that go hey man some, some leave shit don't need to the go there. Make music, man. if, if, you, if your niggas ain't making me you don't have me to have shit to do with hip-hop Set they motherfucking miles, stay in your role, stay in your background place. If you want to be in the forefront, drop a fucking record. If not, stay in the motherfucking background. Or get you a media, be a be, be black media, be, be media. You feel me? If you want to do that, go that route. But if you a manager, you got some background ass role, stay your ass in the motherfucking background. Fuck the bullshit. You got that position for a reason. Play your part. Wanna be all in the video. All in front of the camera, you know, dancing and shit. <laughs> Come to death row. So, you know, he get he get he get his shit, he get his cue from who he learned from, man. Fuck all this shit, man. There's but, enough uh, negative shit going on. If, that, you right pop, there's enough negative shit. And, so in his mind, he shit. oh go ahead. Go ahead, Pat. I was like, in his mind, he feels like he is bringing on game. Because people like that are narcissistic they're in their mind. So everything that they feel they're doing, they, they feel like everything Faith says that he should be doing in his mind, he is doing that. In a, some corrupt, twisted way. Because everybody got their own perspective on how they see stuff. Not everybody's perspective is logical. Not everybody's perspective is within reason. And some people are just agents of chaos. And some people don't see no wrong on what they do, mm. even though they're doing wrong. So 
it's one of those things is like all right even if he's one of those people he's just not going to see the error of his ways until something drastic happens you're right and, uh, and then I hope, I hope it don't happen but yeah Stop living Just up to your name. Tell me. Just because your name whacked don't mean you got to act whack. Like the shit you doing, I I I don't know whether it's for attention. I don't know whether it's for like views for something that you setting up or promo for some or what. But like the way you going about that, it, it's setting up a lot of shit that can go left. And like we already got the young boys wild, and we don't need the old heads wild too. So sit your old ass down somewhere, run your little clubhouse room, and talk shit about some shit that ain't gonna start no fucking war, no dumb shit. And uh, I guess nothing. In that time and in the age and the year where we talking about trying to achieve a, a, a you know, totally different as a united front as a people, we still got motherfuckers like him and like the president agents of chaos who keep negative shit going. Motherfuckers can never unite and get on the same page when you have agents of chaos hidden with their own fucking agendas, breaking the conscience of the people. We can't get shit. It can't be everybody achieving, everybody going together. Because there's motherfuckers out here that are doing stupid ass snake shit like that. God damn, old head. It was fucked up enough in your time. You want to see it get fucked, keep playing fucked up? There's niggas like that, man. Crab ass, crab niggas in the barrel. Crab in the fucking barrel, man. Fuck it. He feels like he's supposed to be a crab. He don't think it's a crab. Happy Patty. 